The Coalition of Non-Governmental Organization in Water and Sanitation has restated its plea to government to create the National Sanitation Authority in order to improve sanitation practices and enhance overall sanitation standards within the sector. During a public lecture addressing the institutional framework for the effective delivery of water, sanitation and hygiene services in Ghana, Biata Akayani Awimpoka, the chairperson of Koniwas, emphasized the importance of establishing the National Sanitation Authority. This measure is crucial in enhancing environmental sanitation practice within the country and promoting the overall well-being of its citizens. By strengthening the existing institutional arrangements, Ghana can make significant strides towards improving sanitation and hygiene services. Um, so for Koniwas, the main purpose that we were looking out for was to actually understand the institutional framework for water sanitation and hygiene service delivery and its implication for national development. So our main aim was to really look at, is it important, what is the existing institutional framework for wash delivery? And it has come out from the lecture by Prof that the institutional framework has mostly focused on water delivery to the neglect of sanitation. So it, it's come out that there are a lot of fragmented institutions from the ministry, agencies and departments at uh, both national and sub-national levels where they are implemented, some are implemented, and the realignment is quite important. It's, it's really imperative for um, government to really look at the realignment of the various institutions and their mandates for washing delivery. How do we ensure that we prioritize sanitation? How do we ensure that the national development, where people are having dignity and access to mostly almost all the sanitation services, is really achieved? The Member of Parliament for Trifoa Timokwa, David Von D, attributed Ghana's sanitation crisis to government's lack of determination and dedication in addressing the challenges within the sector. important to realize is his lack of political will, and I still stand by that. I, I, I remember His Excellency Nanado Danko Akufuado declaring that Accra, Accra will be the cleanest city in the first six months, or if you like, first term of his uh, uh, administration. Unfortunately, Accra is becoming more dirtier and dirtier, and that's a very common knowledge that we all know. And if we have the will to clean Accra, we would have cleaned Accra. Because we sunk a lot of money into you know, managing waste some $43 million and so forth and so on are gone. Accra is getting dirtier and dirtier. It rained yesterday. And I'm sure you all witnessed the kind of garbage we saw in our environment. Absolutely uncalled for very horrible situations. We all saw it. And I believe that, you know, the, the, the just ended regional minister, I mean, Henry was doing very well when he started. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened. I mean, he just went off and everything just uh, got bad again. My opinion is that the, the levy, okay, the waste levy we take from the people must go back to the people and the people will be encouraged to work and to clean the cities.